One guard goes down, another steps up. With Cody Justice, the freshman white guard, going down with a season-ending injury earlier in the week, the Sun Devils needed a new spark to keep their hot streak in the Pac-12 alive. That new spark proved to be Trey Holder, the other freshman point guard with him, and the rest of the Sun Devils beat the Oregon State Beavers in decisive fashion 73-55. to Here's a recap of the game. Shaq McKissick led all scores for the Sun Devils with 17 points, but as mentioned, it was the crafty play of Trey Holder that gave the Sun Devils the edge. From hitting his shots from behind the arc or moving the ball fluidly through the offense, Holder did not look like a freshman. And beside his 10-point four-assist night, the Devils were also helped out by the Splash Brothers of John Gilling, who had 9 points, and Bo Barnes, who had 11. Barnes said after the game, this team is growing together. I think when we uh, follow the coach's plan and on defense, uh, when we move the ball like we were on offense, that so we could we could beat uh, anybody in the Pac-12. I think uh, just trying to focus in on what the coaches are uh, game planning for us and how we're guarding certain situations. I think uh, that we're also rebounding it really well, and then it's on on the defensive end is when we start playing well. Then our offense flows, we get out of transition, get some good uh, good threes, and Eric's playing well inside too. It always doesn't show itself in the outcome because there's competition. But I can tell you, putting our team under a microscope, we've got better this week. We're improving as a team. And one, three of our last four now. But even that aside, which, you know, winning and losing, I'm not diminishing it. But sometimes it can be an illusion too. You can win getting worse. You could be winning and not playing well. You could be losing and getting better and making progress and playing good basketball. You know? And so outcome competition aside, I think what I'm trying to say is just watching our guys every day and we're getting better. After being the fourth best team in the Beavers tonight, the Sun Devils have a huge game against the Oregon Ducks that looms on Friday. But with how the Sun Devil team is playing now, it looks like that game is going to be a good one. From Wells Fargo Arena, I'm Jay Gaden, WCSN.